we are very satisfied um, apparently um, with um, the first and second quarters of this first half of, of this year. It's a record um, half year um, if you um, take the 1.1 um, billion euros of net income, you have to search along to find a similar results. Um, it's um, more than a decade ago that uh, we have shown something like that. And that combined um, um, with the fact that um, ratios are also very strong, very strong capital ratio of 14.4%, a very good and decent number on the cost income ratio and ROTE. And every, um, yeah, every driver um, really um, 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 contributed to it. So revenues, um, they're very strong. We had a good cost discipline and um, the risk result was also very decent. And you also raised your expectations for net interest income to at least 7.8 billion euros. That's up from the 7 billion that you initially guided for. Tell us why. What is making you so confident about the rest of 2023? First of all, we now have the first and the second quarter coming in, and specifically the second quarter um, pleasantly surprised us with the 2.1 billion um, NII. Um, and that's due to the fact that um, yeah, it's basically three factors. Um, one is um, that um, we have seen um, another um, interest rate increase um, by the ECB. Second, um, we have seen higher um, deposits than we expected, and most importantly, the deposit better didn't um, increase in the pace we thought it would increase. So it's still at a lower level than um, originally anticipated. And um, all in all, that brings us to this um, minimum 7.8 billion euros. And it clearly um, 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 yeah, shows that the, the outlook um, is intact, meaning that we expect um, um, well um, above um, um, net, uh, net income in comparison to 2022. But given that some of that is related to the higher interest environment that we're seeing in Europe, do you expect that in 2024 you will struggle a little bit more in case the ECB decides to cut rates in the first half of next year? Well, first of all, it's not our assumption that we will see rate cuts. We do not um, 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 assume that there will be further uh, rate increases, but we are also not... Um, um, part um, of um, the ones who think that there will be rate cuts. Um, but also, I mean, due to our strict cost management, we have a very decent profitability now um, and um, we can manage that. Um, we are very confident also that we will reach our 2024 targets. Um, so um, there are no worries here. Now, just to clarify on the point of interest rates, do you mean that you don't expect higher increases already this year, or is that just for 2024? No, we assume that we will stick with the 3.75%, which we currently have. So if there would be a further interest rate hike, like in fall, that would be, again, um, um, an upside potential for us.